Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to co come on here really quick and share some Halloween things that I've been crafting. I did share some of these on Instagram, but I always, of course, like to share with you guys as well. So I recently hauled a cauldron die and I ended up putting it together. Um, it took a little bit of time. It wasn't hard, but just the gluing part did a little bit more <laughs> took a little bit more time but um i did do it first in black cardstock and then i went ahead and matted it with the paper that i got from kim's inspired life and at first i wanted to embellish the front of it but i decided you know what i think it looked just fine the way it was and then i just wanted to add this really cute bow i love the green how it pops out so i had this bow in my stash and i went ahead and used a spider ring for the center and i think it turned out super cute then i made this chunky little um dangle here this is all beads from the Happer the happy crafter shop except this um witch cabochon i just used it on one of her clear bales that she has in her shop as well but everything else was from her shop so i'm going to go ahead and leave um the information down below in my description box along with my coupon code so you can get 10 percent off but i think it turned out so cute and then i just added this um like glittered green Rick rack ribbon around the top of it as well so i think it turned out really cute and it's just a fun little cauldron really good size to put like goodies inside so that's what i plan on doing um let me see here so a couple other things that i did was i made some safe shaker uh, mason jars well i just did one and this this jar here is not specifically halloween it's just one that i got i believe i got it from aliexpress so i used a tool shaker um instead of because i don't think it was meant to be a shaker at least i didn't think so um but yeah i just did a tool shaker and then added the word treats here and then i used some of the sequins from the happy crafter shop as well so that is what i mixed in here and then added this purple little um fly there and then i used colored or glittered purple cardstock for the rim so i think it turned out so cute as a nice little embellishment it's a good size so this would be perfect um for either like if you wanted to use it for a memory decks card or in front of a regular card or a journal um lots of different ways to use that so i went ahead and made that and then i did another one without the shaker so this is pretty much what it turns out like so um i just added these two bow embellishments that i had in my stash they matched perfectly so i went ahead and just added that then I made some cute little trick-or-treat bags. I did share that I was going to create some. This was the most recent one that I hauled. It's definitely a lot smaller than what I anticipated, but I think they turned out so cute. So I just used a little ghosty, this little boo that was painted, and then um, used glossy accents on top of that. It says ghost and ghouls little bat there i'm just loving the green and the orange and the black and then here's another one i layered up two tags i added a little bow to this um, side there it says trick or treat and you can definitely put um things in here so but i just left them um empty so the recipient can do what she pleases with them so i plan on putting that in there and then i made a little banner flag these are the dies from scrap diva designs let me share that real quick they look like this and it comes in three sizes so i use the smallest size here and um, i do have a 10 percent off link for that as well i just think they turn out so cute you can make little flags like I did here, or you can just make little embellishments. With this one, I used um, some of the chipboard stickers from Target that they had a few years ago. I had this little wooden little ghosty in my stash. I think came from Michael's a couple years ago as well. And then I layered up one of Gloria's 
um, crepe paper rosettes that I bought from her shop which is glorious crafts hauls and more and then I did add some dangles here to the web here and those are all from the happy crafter shop so um super cute so I did that one so I can just kind of hang it in here and I just think it looks so cute and then I made a few more so here's another one that I did this one says boo with some ghosties this is actually a spider web um die cut that I received in when I did place my order from Gloria's shop so she sent me some freebies so that was cool so I went ahead and did another one of those I realized that I didn't have any um Halloween straws so I have to be on the lookout for that I have plenty of straws but apparently I don't have any more Halloween ones left so here's the other one so I can't wait to you know make bigger bigger embellishments with the um, bigger size dies from scrap divas shop so super cute and they're fun and then all i did was just cut out um, or punch out uh one inch you know black cardstock to cover the straw just to make it look neater in the back and then i also included this fun beatable pen i used some of these um little dangle embellishments that I made I think I already shared those on my channel again from the happy crafter shop even the little pumpkin there is from there then I had this little um, bee dangle already in my stash and it matched perfectly so I just went ahead and added it to the pen I had all these beads in my stash already this one here is um oh no it's not I was thinking it was from the happy crafter shop but I already had that one so I just um dangled it and then this is like a little spacer bead that has like I don't know if you can see, but it has like the little loop there. So it's easy to hang things from. So went ahead and got that to put in here. And then I'm going to also include my little um, altered little spoons, Halloween spoons. And these are all um, the little bottle cap cabochon is from the Happy Crafter Shop. And I just embellished it. So I thought that would match perfect for that. And then again, this is a little monster. I don't know if I've shared this already, but um, I think I shared this in another video, so it might come afterwards. But these are the finger puppets from Dollar Tree, and they came out with five of them. And I just put it together, filled it with some fluff, added a little bow there, and then another um, straw, and then, of course, a pom-pom on the bottom. I always got to add pom-poms to the bottom of my straws. I don't know why, but um, I thought this also it would match good in there and then I just had these little um beads these are like little bubble wands and um these were gifted to me already and they have like little I think this one has orange beads and then this one has just clear beads so the beads and then the little dangles match so I figured I would include that too for the recipient so I just wanted to come on and share a few things that I've been working on and share the car cauldron. I think it turned out super cute. Again, you can just wanted to show how much you can actually fit in this. Super fun. Maybe you could even add a handle, um, but I think it just is fine the way it is. So those are my shares for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will leave all the links along with my coupon code in the description box so you can check them out and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.